she was just there and she just died without trying to call for help. Like, that's not Chelsea. <laughs> A tragic end to a missing persons case. Chelsea Poorman is found dead almost two years after she went missing. Her mother left wondering what happened to her. No matter what was going on, she always found a way to get out of situations and, you know, call us. So for her to be just there and, you know, for who knows how long and... Uh, Still unanswered, a lot of unanswered questions. The Vancouver Police Department says Chelsea's body was found April 22nd by contractors working at a vacant house here on Granville Street and West 37th Avenue. The exact cause of death may never be known, um, and at this point it's considered to be undetermined. Um, we do believe that Chelsea likely died on that property either the night that she uh, went missing or shortly thereafter and remained on that property undiscovered. She was last seen near Davie and Granville Street in September of 2020. Police say the death is not considered suspicious. Family and community members have held rallies and searches for Chelsea. At the Women's March in February, Sheila pleaded for help. Especially the ones who know something about Chelsea's disappearance. I want them to know that they're hurting the family right now. Sheila says her daughter moved to Vancouver for help. She was working with a clinic to improve her mental health and trying to get into a detox center for addictions. And she always kept family updated. I just wish that there was, you know, more that could have been done. Like, I wish I could have went to these abandoned buildings and searched them. Sheila still wants to know who owns the empty property where Chelsea was found and how she ended up there. But for now, she's remembering her daughter. She would give the shirt off of her back if she had to, just in order for somebody, you know, who needed it. She would go out of her way to help them. And that's how people knew her. Like, she was so caring. She wouldn't harm anyone. In Vancouver, Crystal Adaris, City News.